Today we're going to be talking about repairing this leather cord on this bolo tie. Now most bolo ties come with the tips not only crimped on the end but also you can see here they're also glued and that's just an extra precaution. I do that to all my bolo ties. Now the bolo tip at the very end has got some little uh, corrugated if you will prongs and those prongs are meant to be uh, squeezed onto the leather cord. So if you're repairing or if you're replacing with a longer cord, whatever your purpose is, uh, this cord, then what you do is you're going to, first of all, realize that the bolo slide on the back is what holds your cord on. So if you wanted to, and you don't want the tips, and you don't want the cord, you would just cut the cord off and install a new cord. Uh, but I'm also going to show you how you also have to uh, put in the, uh, uh, the tips uh, with glue, and that's important. So if we look at all of the materials that we have, first we have our cord and our leather cord is braided. I think it's a four millimeter cord. That's what goes into the size of slide that I have. Now if you place your uh, tip on there, as you see here, it's pretty loose. And in the uh, olden days, people would just crimp them on there and uh, that was sufficient to hold them on. But I glue them on with this two-part epoxy. So when you put it on there, and you rotate it, you realize that epoxy would hold it a little bit uh, longer and a little bit more rigidly. So here are all the parts that we're going to need for our project. You're going to need a heat source, a screwdriver, some pliers, and two-part epoxy. The heat source can actually be a lighter because uh, this is low temp glue and it'll come off. You need some way to clamp your cord. You can just use a regular clamp onto the edge of a table or you can use a small vise like I have here. So we're going to start by taking the uh, taking this uh, cord, uh, leaving enough of the tip and the cord sticking out to the left there so that we can uh, apply some pliers to it. Okay. So then what I do is I'm going to take the uh, the cord in the vise and squeeze it down. Now you don't want to uh, Hercules tighten that because it, it would damage your, your cord. Just enough to hold it so that when you pull after the glue melts uh, you can pull it off of there. Now the first thing that you have to do is release the prongs. Okay, So you're going to have about five prongs on most bolo tips. Now these are sterling silver bolo tips that uh, are metal and they have been uh, fuse soldered on the edge of it so you're not going to get them that hot. Of course if if you use like an acetylene torch or something yes it, it would melt them but you're just going to leave it on there for a few seconds. You take each prong and you take the screwdriver underneath very gently if you're saving those uh, tips to reinstall them because you're just repairing the cord and you pull each prong back Okay, so as you pull each prong back, you'll see that uh, if it wasn't glued on there, they would it would just slide off. Now, this is a composite tip that I'm showing you here, which means that it has a dangle at the end of it. Sometimes they'll have spheres or something else that you can take your pliers and move them to the end of the tip and very gently squeeze. Don't Herculean squeeze it so that it damages the bolo tip. So you're going to take your heat source. It can be a lighter, but I like these because they're a little bit hotter, a little bit faster, and you can direct the flame. It's just a butane torch that you can buy anywhere. You pull, you're going to be pulling on that tip in the direction of your arm. You heat it up just a little bit and put a little tension on it until it comes right off. So if you look at the, the end of that, you can see how there's glue in there. And don't worry about taking the glue out of there. 
you just leave it in there uh, it'd be fine with the new glue if you're going to be saving these tips so this little butane torch is kind of handy so the next thing that we're going to be doing is uh, if uh, you're going to be cleaning off uh, some of this glue here and because it's kind of uh, hard you should be able to just crack it free and just pull it off of there there will be an amount of glue on there which you need to take off because you need to slide at least one end through the uh, the slider on the on the uh, back of the bolo now there are two kinds of sliders the slider that I'm showing you here has got a it's a three piece a three part uh, slider where you have a spring a physical spring that uh, goes into the middle part of the slider so uh, that's what holds your cord in place very effective so the nice thing about these is they can be taken apart these sliders and you can uh, repair them so what I'm going to do is I need to take this uh, braided cord through this all the way through while pressing on the release button now the release button just has a small spring on it then the cord should come right out but be careful because if you've only taken off one side that spring can spring out of there and then it can go someplace where you can't find it so you slowly and carefully take the middle part of the slider off and making sure that you keep track of the little spring here you can see the spring and we'll set that aside okay now let's say that you've already replaced it and you can replace the cord simply by stringing it through on one side notice I only removed one uh, bolo tie because or one bolo tie tip because I'm going to be repairing one of those bolo tie tips. If you're doing this for the whole cord, the process is the same. You put your spring back together, you push on the release button after you get it all lined up. You have to put the spring in first like this, and then you hook the slider underneath one side of the cord, and you'll see how it uh, releases the cord when you push on it push down on it so that it leaves you a nice wide opening to put the new cord or the uh, same cord back in there. This is where you needed to remove the uh, glue otherwise it won't go in quite as easily. And it might be a little tight okay so what you do is you push it through and you can squeeze it through with one finger and your fingernail until it starts to catch on the receiving end of the slide. Okay, so then as you pull it through, you're basically done with this repair job, except that you have to put the, the uh, tips back on. Again, if uh, you don't fear that, uh, you know, these tips are going to come off, notice that these tips have got extra weight. It's got a little dangly on it that might give more pressure. Sometimes you'll be packing your bolo or you'll catch your bolo in a drawer and it would pull the tip off if it was just held with the prongs. So I take two parts of five minute epoxy. It'll uh, set up very quickly. So you make sure you have your parts ready that, and that they fit. Okay, and your prongs are pulled back. On a new uh, bolo tip, they would already be pulled back. You take a little a dab of glue and you put it, oh, I'd say about a quarter inch inside of the tip. Don't put it too far to the outside because then it'll make a mess uh, as you try to get that uh, those crimped. Uh, you don't need very much glue, just enough to hold it in there in case for some reason there's a hard yank on it. But I found that generally these will hold under most circumstances. So then what you do is you take your tip and then you spin it to make sure glue is uh, rubbed on the cord as well as the bolo tip and you just spin it a little bit 
then what I do is I take my screwdriver and holding it vertically not horizontally to the ground then what I do is I take this the tip of the screwdriver and uh, squeeze down or bend down each little prong first I do one side then I go completely to the other side and I will bend the opposite prong uh, on the other side of the uh, of the tip down and then I do that back and forth until they're all down but that ensures that your cord will be right in the middle of all five prongs okay so here you can see that's pretty tight now the glue hasn't set up it'll set up in five minutes then you'd have to release it with heat then you check everything out you can bring that cord all the way to the end hmm. a lot of people before they clean their bolo ties of tarnish and everything will do this just to do that and that's the end of the project